Bush opposed to the effect of, hold on, I gotta get it. We are responsible. We're not necessarily guilty, he wrote, but we are responsible. And that there has to be a way for people, for human beings created in the image of God, I'm not in your packets, don't worry, to have access to food, and that we have to fight a just world war justly. How do you fight a just war justly? Like that's, that's our question. And what does it mean to be fighting a war of self-defense and of um, the really an existential feeling war. What are the ethics of warfare? What, are, what do we do when we have violent neighbors? How do we uphold the sanctity of life for all people that Judaism upholds? And yet also find ourselves in positions of war. And for those of us who are at Shabbat services this morning, we began this conversation, Parshat Zahor, where we remember Amalek and the generations of people who have come to kill the weakest among us, and so here we are, Purim, lifting up this story again. And the real reason we're doing this on Purim, I have a whole bunch of extra copies, so if there are people who need, there's like four or five up here, come get them. Um, the reason we do this is because, now we can turn to our first page of our packet, right? The beginning of, of, of Mikila Esther, we have Haman, who, who comes a lot, and says convinces King Ahasuerus to kill the Jews, right? So here we are, Esther chapter 13. Accordingly, written instructions were dispatched by couriers to all the king's provinces to destroy, massacre, and exterminate all the Jews, young and old, children and women, on a single day, on the 13th day of the 12th month, that is the month of Adar, to plunder their possessions. All right, that's set up part one. They're out to kill us. All right, then the story unfolds, all the bad, all the bad, and now we get to chapter.